Hey everybody, TPC here. We're going to do some teriyaki beef jerky in the Nesco dehydrator. Let's check it out. Okay, got our piece of round that's slightly frozen. We're going to start slicing this down for the jerky. We're doing a test, doing some thicker slices for jerky to see how this comes out in the dehydrator. These pieces are about 3 sixteenths of an inch thick. We're not going to get too many of them, but we'll get enough to try this out. All right, this is what we've got from about a pound and a half of eye of round. And this is what we're gonna put in our little dish here and then mix up our marinade. We're gonna marinate this for 48 hours or two days. I've got a meat hammer here with the spiked end. I'm just hitting it enough to break down the fibers a little bit. We're not changing the thickness all that much. Just... Breaking up the fibers so it's not so tough. Okay, we've got all the meat tenderized and in the tub. I'm going to put this back in the fridge while we make the uh, marinade. And then we'll come back. Okay, now for the teriyaki marinade. We've got a tablespoon of brown sugar, a teaspoon of ground garlic, a quarter teaspoon of white pepper, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, half teaspoon of onion powder, a half teaspoon of ground ginger, some golden honey, and we're also going to use about a half cup of soy sauce. Okay, we got our half cup of soy sauce. I'm going to put in a couple of tablespoons of honey. Put in our spices and our brown sugar. And we're going to get this mixed up. Okay, we got our meat back out. Using Ziploc bag, we're going to put all the meat in here with the marinade, get as much air out of the bag as possible, and seat it back in this bowl. Then marinade a little bit of meat. And some more meat. A little more meat. 
marinade. All right, that's all the meat. Rest of the marinade. It's like some of the spice. I'm going to close up the bag about three quarters of the way. I get as much of the air out as possible. Finish closing up. Go back over it. Make sure you got everything closed so you don't have a leak. I'm going to sit here and massage the rub around with the meat. Take this. Back in the bowl like so. And we'll rotate this about every oh, 10 or 12 hours. Just to keep the marinade rolling around the meat. And we'll be back in two days to see how it looks. Alrighty. Got the Nesco dehydrator out. It's time to make some jerky. And that's our meat after just about two and a half days. About 60 hours in the uh, marinade. Had to leave it a little longer. I just couldn't get to it. Now, we're going to blot the uh, meat. Dry it up a little bit. And uh, get the excess marinade off and put it into the hydrator. Starting with the bottom rack. As I said, these are much larger pieces than I normally do. So they're going to take a little more space in the dehydrator. We're going to do our second rack now. And that's rack two. Looks like we're going to need a third one. And we only have three pieces left for the top rack. So let's put the power unit on and get these going. Alrighty. Got the power unit on and started. 160 degrees. We're going to run this for about three hours. Come back and check it. Possibly let it go for a fourth hour. After three hours, we rotated the racks. And we're going to let this go another hour and then check them. Alrighty, it's been four and a half hours. We're going to uh, turn this off and take the jerky out and blot the oil off of it. Alrighty, this is what the jerky looks like. As you can see, the little puddles of oil. You need to blot these off. That's what we're going to do next. Just put them on some paper towel like that. Fold another piece of paper towel over the top. This allows you to flood off any oil on top so it doesn't have a chance to go rancid. And got beef jerky. As you can see, and a big vein of fat going through the center but because we're going to uh, keep this in the fridge that won't be a problem Got bend test you can see the fibers but it's not all dried hard it's a pretty good batch. We only did a pound and three quarters, and uh, we ended up with a good bit of jerky. And let's give it a taste, see how it came out. Yeah, it's pretty tasty. I love making jerky at home. I can't ever bring myself to buy it in the store anymore. You want some good jerky? This is it. And if you don't have a smoker, and you don't uh, 
don't want to do it in the oven. Dehydrator cost me about uh, 35 40 bucks on uh, eBay. Nice cheap way to uh, make jerky for yourself. If you've never made your own beef jerky, you should try it sometime. It's absolutely excellent. Thanks for watching.